Right, so there's the bottom third waiting to get glued up. There's the middle third getting glued up. Top third is glued up and ready to go. I'm gonna get it on the lathe. I can hold it this way and trim that ring up and flip it over. Hold it this way and then trim that ring up and start getting the shape out of that. And that is my Kyle Nations yo-yo. All right, so I got the top third on the lathe. It barely fits there. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how round it is. I've got plenty of extra wood on there to get it all trued up. And I just want to get that edge square basically so I can grab it from this side and then square up that. If square makes any sense. So now I want to clean this edge up because most of the turning I'm going to be doing will be, will be holding the spin top in that ring with the other chuck. All right, so that's better. Oh, geez. Right, so now that I have that inner circle nice and square, I can put it on this chuck and then start cleaning up the inside of this thing. All right, so backstory here is this is a top that I make for folks. It's a four to five inch diameter spin top out of plywood. And a buddy of mine wants a 10 inch diameter. So I've scaled that up and that's what I'm making. So the final thing will be that big, but look like that, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna get the bottom third here on the lathe like that and get a nice smooth round piece there that I can grab this way and then start hollowing that out. All right, this is the middle third and I need to make it rounder. Looks kind of cool. Spinning. Ooh. Rounder, yeah. All right, now we need to clean all that up, yeah. All right, so here I've cut a step or a rabbit joint or whatever you wanna call that, or a tenon to fit inside this ring so that when I glue it together, it's centered up. And Eli is playing wall ball. Okay, so I've cut a tenon for the bottom third to go on the middle third. It goes like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole for the tip. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do it later. Okay, we're about to glue all this together. I've got my jaw number one marked. So every time I put this back on the lathe, it's in the same spot. I'll skim this smooth real quick to make sure that that's, the, that's centered on how I'm always gonna turn it. These uh, tenon joints will be centered when I glue it all together. And then I have a hole that should be on center when I line it up in the tailstock and then just turn the outside. That's the plan. Okay, the 10 inch got a second coat of fiberglass resin this morning. Looking crazy.